Hey everybody, this is Gunhead70, and it's been a while since I posted a video, but I decided to do a video on a model that I've had completed for a while now. Um, if you check my channel, it's kind of in the background, and it is a uh, 1 to 100 no grade uh, ashtray. Um, I'm a really big fan of the ashtray, it's probably one of my top five favorite mobile suits. Um, but, you know, uh, the perfect grade is a little bit, uh, cost-wise, a little bit out of my range, and I just haven't gotten around to buying a master grade, which I hope to uh, alleviate that pretty soon. Um, but uh, this isn't a review so much as me going over the mobile suit and kind of pointing out some areas that um, I may be modifying on a future uh, ashtray. Uh, to correct some of the posability problems that it, that it has. So, um, uh, what I'll do is I'll go over what I'm going to modify and then I'll kind of show him with the weapons and uh, everything that I've got for him. So, if we take a look at him, I'll bring him a little closer. We'll start from the top and, and work our way down. Um, one of the things that I plan to modify is the head. Uh, it's a single ball joint uh, on a big stem uh, for the whoops, don't come off the fin uh, for the neck. And although it's it's decent, it just doesn't have the posability that um, uh, a lot of other uh, mobile suit uh, models have, uh, even in uh, one to one forty four scale. Uh, a lot of the ones that I've built recently, they, they're, they're double jointed, so it's got a lot more posability with it. So that's one thing that I plan on modifying. Um, I've bought uh, quite a few packs of the Kotobukiya uh, ball joint sets that you can order, and those are what I'll be using to modify the next one that I build. Uh, I don't plan on doing it anytime soon. I'm still kind of figuring out how I'm going to modify it, but. Uh, uh, it's in the planning stages, we'll say. Um, so I want to do a, a double joint on the neck just to get some better posability there. Um, I would like to do something with the waist. Um, it does have um, waist articulation. Um, it'll move side to side, but I kind of want that forward and backward uh, motion. Um, as well, just for some extra posability. Um, the one of the biggest problems with the uh, no grade ashtray kit is the legs, um, especially. I'll move the camera here, uh, especially right down where this upper thigh uh, meets the front skirts and the side skirts. Um, really, that's that's kind of as far as you can bend it um, right there I know it's kinda of dark but that's about all the the movement it gets and what I realized is that the reason why it's having a hard time is if you let me try and get close up in there this part right here seems to be a little bit larger than it needs to be um, if memory serves me I think the perfect grade it was a lot smaller uh, not so uh, pronounced so I wanna on the next one I build I wanna trim that down and then this uh, thigh armor here um, kinda sticks way out so you can see that this is the actual inner part of the leg or inner part of the frame and then it sits way out here um, and that also stops it from uh, being able to move all the way up you know in order to get a really nice leg bend so I want to modify that because you've got all this back here the leg really does bend quite nicely going back but you just can't move the leg forward so you can't get any really nice lunging poses or kneeling poses with it so um, I'd like to modify that in order to get some better articulation um, maybe cut this down to make it shorter so that more of the inner frame is exposed I've thought about that um, uh, or uh, trimming this armor down so it sits closer to the inner frame. 
um, but I'm not quite sure uh, how I'm going to do it. Um, the leg, or the, not the legs, but the, the ankles, they seem to be alright. Um, there's a little bit more uh, uh, exposed underneath than I would like. You can kind of see up in there. So, but uh, that's all right. The, the 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 foot motion is is actually decent. It's really good, or not not, not decent, but really good, uh, considering it's a no grade. So I won't modify anything there. So, um, and the arms, obviously, the the arms are actually really good. You can get a it's a single joint, but it's a really nice bend because you also have the hand that can bend up so arm posability is really nice I probably wouldn't modify anything there um, you know they can go out that far they'll rotate around so the, the arms are fine the way they are but I thought I'd just go over a few of those points of uh, things that I wanted to modify so that the kit um, looked a little bit better on the shelf I mean you know just a basic standing pose is kind of all you can get I'll, you know that's pretty much it um, simply because you can't do much with the the legs uh, because of the upper thighs so um, just some ideas that I had for modifying one of my uh, favorite mobile suits maybe not the kit itself um, but if you're if you're looking for you know an ashtray and you don't want to pay for a master grade or a perfect grade and you want something bigger than a high grade then this is pretty much the only one you know that you can move to so um, just some ideas that I had but as you can tell it's not painted in the typical uh, ashtray colors um, it's actually uh, this is uh, gunmetal the chest is gunmetal I've got uh, German gray on the inner parts of the chest. The actual outer armor is not painted black. It looks black, but it's actually a very, very dark blue uh, with a pearl coat on top and then dull coated. Um, I kind of didn't want to do black, but, uh, but so in certain, it's probably not even going to show up on camera, but in certain light, it does have a very blue look to it. The, the camera is not going to pick it up, but that's all right. Um, the inner frame is just painted a, a very light gray. Um, I wanted to do something more like um, a grunt suit, or maybe you know, um, kind of like a command suit, rather than a lead uh, uh, Gundam uh, color configuration. And I'm very happy with it. I just threw some spare decals on there, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, I think I actually got those decals out of a Macross kit uh, for a, uh, I think it was for a Veritech fighter. But, um, yeah, in fact, I'm, I'm positive now that that's where I got them. So, um, what else I've done to this is... I've painted the shield, given it the same number. It's real basic. It's supposed to be a grunt, so it doesn't have a lot of fancy markings all over it, even though it's got, you know, a nice metallic red on the on the shield. Uh, obviously, the shield's done in a light gray. The inner part is done in, in gunmetal again. And then I've done metallic red for the accents. And uh, just threw the metallic red in there just to kind of break it up. But I didn't want something... I didn't want to do uh, too many flashy colors. Um, and as for weapons, he's got the standard beam rifle. I just painted it a nice flat black and then just accented some parts on it with silver. And then he's got his bazooka. Now, if you've never seen this before, this is uh, this bazooka is actually uh, made by. Uh, whoops, that's not good made by uh, Kotobukiya and it's called a freestyle bazooka and it is really really nice um, if you're thinking about picking this up pick it up because it it's got a lot of detail in it um, and I think I may have already done a review on this particular uh, weapon kit but um, the handle will move down 
and then it's got a back piece here that'll move down as well um, this upper uh, kind of grab rail here will slide forward and back so it, it does slide forward and back um, in the kit I believe it comes with a peg a type of mounting system on here because these are for um, oh, I forgot what it was it's some type of modular uh, uh, frame system or robot system where the inner frame is compatible with different types of outer armor uh, if, uh, I think that's what it is but anyway so I've just got a spare hand on him right now I'll pop that off and slide that in and there you go so uh, I do like him he looks quite menacing holding his large bazooka there pull back let you see the whole thing so I'm really happy with it I think it turned out quite nice um, but uh, that's pretty much it that's uh, I just I had, hadn't put up a video in a while so I decided to put uh, put one up do a uh, pseudo review I guess on uh, the model that I've already done and uh, hopefully I'll have some other things here finished uh, pretty quick and uh, that's it and we'll see you soon